Hi everyone, Dr. Metter here. This is the last problem in complete problem set one of our di diagonal forces unit. And it kind of puts together, if you've watched the other videos for problems in this problem set, it kind of puts together everything we've done. So I'm not gonna do all of this problem, but I want you to watch the other videos and sort of reply to this one. Um, I'll do part of it, we'll talk a little bit about it, set it up, and then you guys can go from there. So a crane is lifting a 50 kilogram beam at a constant speed as shown, neglect drag. So what does it mean when it says constant speed? Why is that important? Well, in the other problems we've seen that the system was at rest. So it's pretty easy to say, okay, the forces must be balanced because there's no movement and therefore uh, it's, a, it's a balanced system and the force net is zero. Well, we're, we're at a constant speed, we have the exact same situation because no matter if it's at rest, which is a constant speed of zero, or it's at a constant speed with no acceleration up or down, then our acceleration is still equal to zero. So that means our force net is equal to zero, which also means that all the forces up must equal all the forces down and all the forces to the right must completely balance out and be equal to all the forces to the left because there's no acceleration in the vertical uh, direction or in the horizontal direction. Okay, how many forces are acting on the beam? Well, uh, we know that there's a force of weight acting on the beam pulling it toward earth. And we know that there's two lines pulling uh, it up, right? That are evenly distributed because of the, of the weight of the beam because these angles are the same. So we have one, two, three forces acting on the beam. So we have three forces. Are the forces on the beam balanced? Well, that was what we just talked about. Uh, yes, they are balanced because even though they're moving at a constant speed, there's no acceleration in any direction and therefore our force net is equal to zero. So yes, the forces are balanced. What is the magnitude of the net force of the beam? Well, we just said it, it's zero, zero newtons. So now what is the tension in the cable? I feel like with the last problems, the last videos of problems that we did, we can figure this out. But the key to this is to understand that, right, anything pulling it down must be equal to all of the forces pulling it up and anything moving in the horizontal must be equal to each other also, equal and opposite to make this a balanced system. And we know that because, again, because these angles are equal, that means the weight of this beam is evenly distributed between these two lines of cable one and cable two. Okay, I do believe you have enough to do great at this problem. Let me know if you have any questions and good luck. I know you can do it. Talk to you soon, bye.